There are two ways that I will allow you to create your complementary color. You can decide to draw some items that are complementary, making sure you have a foreground, something in the front, and a background, something in the back. Now, if you decide to do photography, you want to think about all the elements that are in the picture. Because if you're drawing, you can just add them. But if you're doing photography, you physically need to put them there. So let's see. If I was trying to do a picture of myself like this, it wouldn't really work because I have all of this white in the background. And that's not good for the artwork. So thus, I have to think of ways to add more color. And it can only be purple and yellow if I'm purple and yellow. So let's see. Slide. Pull back here. Yeah, let's get somewhere. And slide. Now I have more purple in the background. Yeah, you see? And then I can add something that's in the foreground. I'm in the middle. And then click. 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 And if I... And then if I really want to cut out all of this extra little neutral stuff that's back out here, I can zoom in, put the flower closer to my face, and smile. So there's more than one way that you can create your complimentary art. You can place your red item and your green item together. and draw that and create artwork. You'll see that I have just green and red. That little bit of blue there, I can actually paint that black or draw that black so that way it doesn't take away from my complementary colors. This gives us something in the foreground, but we don't really have much in the background. So let's see if we can slide something else into this picture. Now we have something in the background to go with our something in the foreground. And luckily for us, that still counts as complementary colors. You have the red thing, the green thing, and the red shoes. And that also counts for something in the foreground as well as the background, even though it's moving. So if you see the brick wall is kind of a gray, that works perfectly for you because it counts as a neutral color. Yay! So this counts as an artwork. And if you want, you can decide to just make a cool photography piece like this. And let's say we move that watermelon a little close. It's running away. Come back, watermelon. Let's shove this baby right here. So this art piece can be called the red shoes and the runaway watermelon. And just like this, you can draw it or you can make a really nice photography piece for me. I'll be happy to have either way. So let's talk about what's not okay. Let's say you had these shoes here and you just had the shoes and the brown background. That does not count as complementary colors because it's only red. Let's say you had the shoes up in the air with all of that blue background. That does not count as complementary colors because the sky is blue. So you wanna make sure that you're only putting it by green if it's red. Does that make more sense? And pink is a red, so you are okay to use that color. There we go, now that looks cool. And there you go. You have yourself a nice complementary art. You can do photography, or you can draw it, but make sure you're not putting any other colors. There shouldn't be any blues back here, any greens, any reds. None of those belong in the artwork. Only neutral colors are allowed to accompany your complimentary. Okay? Now, if you need me, I'm only a click away. Hopefully this was helpful. Oh, and don't forget your tints and shades, the lights and the darks of all your items. That way it looks super cool. Okay, have fun creating. Bye.